Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess HD Blind. In the last episode, we entered the Hyrule Castle dungeon. This episode, we're moving on further inside the castle. I believe we've already taken care of everything outside. Of course, we don't have a compass yet, so we don't really know where any of the treasure chests that we're missing are. Hopefully we get it soon, so I don't have to backtrack the entire dungeon. Uh, okay, so it looks like we need to light these. Oh, there's more. You? What's that noise? Oh, I was like, I thought the, the armor was coming to life. But no, it was just a ton of bats. Okay, well, that was fun. They hit me like 20 times. Uh, maybe I just want to put these out. There's a lot of lantern shenanigans going on in this dungeon. What? I can't put it to sleep. Okay. Um, oh, there's four. I guess we probably just have to light it before time runs out. Real quick, like. Wait, what? I missed it? We can do it. We'll get... What? Oh, there's an order you have to do it, isn't it? I'm dumb. Three, four, four. Wait, no. It undid itself again. Where there's got to be somewhere where it says the order that you do it in. Also, it's extremely dark in this room. Can I put these out? No. Maybe if I destroy the armor. <laughs> On the ceiling. Huh. Maybe I can just guess it. How quick does it go out if you get the wrong order? Okay, hold on. Are they just not, are are they just timed? Yeah, okay, it looks like they're just timed, but some stay light fast more than longer than others. Yeah, so you need to light them in order of how long they stay lit. So it looks like this one burns the longest. That one's definitely the shortest. Okay, I think I know the order. We'll try that one. This one. This one. And then you. No, I must have gotten these backwards. Well, no, that one went out first, though. In that case, I'd be right. Hold on. Maybe it's this order? Oh, I guess I got it. Okay. So yeah, you light those in order of how long they're, they stay lit. But it's not... I guess I probably should have had a time stopwatch or something. I don't know. We figured it out. It probably said the answer to the puzzle somewhere else in the dungeon, but who cares? Let's move on. So what do we have in here? Two armored Lizalfos. They probably go by another name. In fact, you know they're probably Dinalfos or something. Anyway, hello, I would like to murder you. Helm Splitter. Ow, they're killing me. Helm Splitter, boys! Boom, boom. Oh, he's not dead yet. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Easy. Not even a problem. So that opens up two ways to go. We could go back outside, or we can go back to the main room. Now, I really do feel like there's something we're missing in this main room. Because there's that wall that has... To, oh, there's a chest there. I feel like since we're on a different side of the room, we can, like, reach different spots now, maybe? Hopefully that's the answer. No. So can we reach that one now? We can, just barely. Here we go. Please, please be a compass. Nope, it's not. It's another rupee. We don't need these! And a switch. 
Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. So that... That better be a compass. I need the compass. I feel like I'm missing literally everything. Um... I think I can get it from here. No. Does it at least clink? Huh. I think maybe I could get it from... This one? Thank God I can reach this one. Okay, now we just go a tiny bit down. There we go. And now we can get this. And it's not the compass. I don't need this. I don't... Ugh. Lordy Lord, okay. And now we can't get back up there. Oh my God. Can we at least reach this one from here? There's another one over there. I did not even see that. What if that's the compass? I'm going to be so mad if that's the compass. How did I not see it? Also, we are standing on chocolate bars. Hello. Please, please, compass, compass. It is the compass. Of course it is. Dang. 20 bucks says there's like 10 comments in the last episode that says the compass is here. So yeah, we found it. By the way, I'm probably going to be recording, like, the rest of this game in this recording session because we only have one more dungeon to go and then it's, like, I guess, a few bosses, I'm assuming. I wonder if there's a boss rush in this game. Well, you know, that's probably what Zant was supposed to be, so never mind. What? Okay, it just, like, retracted itself. Anyway, now I guess we can try out the other path. Even Oh, we didn't check outside. Because there's another door in that one room that goes outside. Now see, I'm wondering why I can't just like go here, lock it on there, and then just walk onto it. You totally can do that. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's check out this other side. Heart? Nope. But hey, at least I'm not running out of arrows anymore. So what's going on in here? We have... Two Lizalfos, okay. Not a problem. And it's also blue on this side as opposed to red, and it's actually light. Yo, what is up? I'm just gonna murder you. There you go. Very hard. The doors aren't open. Okay. So what do we gotta do in here? Huh. Oh! I see a sword. I thought there was going to be like a switch hidden in the wall. Uh, what do we do here? Can we just not go this way or something? I'm going to shoot things and see if something happens. Oh wow, they actually clink off the shields. That's cool. Um. Hey. We can look at the pictures. That's a picture of Hyrule Castle from North Hyrule Field. That's a picture of Hyrule Castle from North Hyrule Field. And they're all the same picture, except at different times of day. Can I, like, burn this? There's nothing behind it, I don't think. I'm going to see if I can't burn it. Why not? We're here to try things. No. We cannot. Also, we're running out of oil fluid. I guess we're just not meant to go this way yet, or something. Look at the ceiling. Nope, nothing. Uh, do we just have to go near the door to open it? No? Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just head back the other direction then. Since I... Maybe you're supposed to... You're meant to come back through the other side of that room? Or something. Anyway, regardless, I can't figure it out. So, we'll go the red side. And we can finally check out outside, which I'm assuming is going to take us out to, like, the uh, tops of the walls that were outside. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm still digging this tune real hard, even though it's, like, literally just the melody played really softly. I love it. All right, let's see what we're up against. Also, I guess I should check um, 
the map since we have the compass now. On the first floor, we missed a treasure chest, and of course, it's the spot where I jumped down. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back for that. Um, also, we don't have Uku, I noticed. Whoa! Now that's a treasure room if I've ever seen one. Jeez. I can't even count them all. They're all close together. That is indeed the boss. And we have three chests. Okay, there's an, there's not actually a lot of chests here, and this one's just sitting way to be caught, except not. Oh boy, an Aeroflos. Just what I needed. Alright, well, do we have... We do not have the hookshot equipped, and I cannot equip it during cutscenes. Yes, we know what this guy is. Here we go. Come at me, friend. Is there no music playing? Is it just the rain and his wings flapping? That's weird. Any day now, friendo. Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. Get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. Give me your money. I don't need money. I don't know why I would do that. Not sure when I'm going to equip the magic armor. I guess I could just do it now. Since, like, we're getting 200 rupees out of all these uh, chests. What am I doing? I just passed up a chest here. Oh. Oh. I went the wrong way. Never mind. This is probably a key then, if I were to guess. Also, I can in fact go on all the way to the other side, it looks like, from the map. Yep, that's a key. So maybe I wasn't supposed to do anything in that other room. Uh, should I put on the magic armor? Because there's no reason not to. We're not using rupees for anything else. I don't just want to, like, waste them because it's like one rupee a second or something like that. Oh, we can't even go in through here. Can we, like... Okay, yeah. Oh, that's the boss key. And there's some Les Alphos. Oh, that's not fun. Why must you do this? Wait, did he... What? Who did that? Who that? What? Are we supposed to know that eagle? I do not recognize it. Oh, hi there! I, I see, oh, he has a bazooka? Now that's pretty cool. I did not expect them being anything relevant to the plot. Why was his uh, beard black? Doesn't he have yellow hair? Whatever, maybe his beard was always black and he just had yellow hair with it. Anyway, with that we can grab the boss key already. Which is funny because it's in the last temple, it's literally the last key we got. Or the last thing we got in all. So, uh, hearts, maybe? That'd be cool, no? Okay. Wait. Leave no barrel undestroyed. Look at that. It, it's worth it. It's worth. Um, kind of halfway tempted to just jump. Whoa. Oh, that's not actually somewhere we could go, or is it? Yeah, it is. That looks so generic down there. You wouldn't think it's actually somewhere you can go. Can I just jump off? I kind of don't want to try. Nope, you can't. Okay. So, is there like a door or something at the top of this? Or nothing. Oh, there is. A locked door. Sweet, let's check it out. Although, I feel like we're missing something since we're skipping like half the area. I don't know, maybe we'll go back down. I don't know. This definitely looks like a... Oh my god, it added another instrument. That's cool. It's gonna build up throughout the dungeon, isn't it? Um, but, hmm. This definitely looks like, yeah, it connects up there. So it looks like it's a... N we're not going back. So I kind of want to go back down and get all these chests we made. Well, what's that down there? Because as far as I know, there's no connection up there. Maybe there is. Ah, I have to go back and check it. Even, uh... Because there's not going to be a dungeon item. We have all the items. There's no, there's no openings in our item slots. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to take the time to go back to the first floor and get all the chests that we missed. 
Also, I have to pee. Wait a second, it looks like, like I can't be sure of this, but it looks like there's just like a chest hidden right to the left of this doorway, maybe? Uh, it doesn't look like I can get to it from here. Yeah, that definitely looks like something we have to get up to from the first floor. How would we do that, though? There's an opening there. Hold on, if I look at the map here... Oh, wow, it looks like something you'd have to wrap all the way around to. You know what? Okay. Yeah, once again, I'm just going to meet you back at the first floor. All right, we're back over here. This is the chest we missed. It's just a small one, but hey, we can leave no chest unturned. Because uh, supposedly there's two, two stamps that we still need to find here. We haven't found a single one, yet we already have the boss key. And we've already explored, really, the majority of the dungeon. Now, here's a weird thing. I can't really... How do I move this? Oh, I have to use the touchpad, that's right. See, there's no connection there. So I'm wondering... Like, I think we can get up on the walls, at least. Uh, I feel like it's maybe something that we do on one of the upper floors where we just jump off or something. It wouldn't be that one. I don't know if that room right there is outside or not. I don't think it is. And that, uh, I don't know, it really depends on these if those are inside or outside. But, you know, if you remember... These actually look like the corridors that you were going through in the beginning of the game when you were going to find Zelda. Because I believe that room on the bottom there is Zelda's room, if I remember correctly. So, hmm. I think we might jump down to the, that spot at some point, so I'm going to meet you back on the second floor where we left off. This room still confuses me. Like, there should be... Because we're not going to be connecting over to this room in any other way. So, huh. I just don't know. And there's not even like a... There's not a chest there or anything either, so why would it be here? Why? What reason would you have to go to this room? Other than just an alternative to the other path. What? What? Really? That's the answer? I was just trying to, you can really knock those down? I had no idea. Y'all must have been clenching real hard when I was just taking a long look at the picture. What? Really? Huh. Have we seen any pictures before that? Oh, don't form bigger. Don't be bigger, boo. Okay, well, I guess there's no reason to mess with the chews if they're not messing with me. And that opens the door. What does the third one do? Red chews or something? Probably the... Oh no, it's more lantern oil chews. That's so weird! That's so weird! Now here's a question. What reason would you have to go into this room? There's two dark nuts. Why would you want to fight two dark nuts for no reason? This isn't going to open anything special. Because we've already been out there. Ugh. I'll fight him, I guess. Whatever. Who cares? We've done worse. So, uh... Yo. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Oh. Boy, get out of here. Look at this. We're just styling on these guys now. Oh, dang. They're like double dutching us. I don't know. We keep bonking off the other guy. Well, he doesn't have any armor in it. He's going to throw that. Okay, now let's get you. Oh, wow. Did that hit both of them? I think it might have. Dude, you got to chill. Get out of here, boyo. So I didn't realize shield bashes only worked on enemies that were already guarding. But I guess that was probably said in the... Uh, when we were learning it, wasn't it? That guy was not remotely looking anywhere near us. Okay, good thing I guarded that at the right time. Boy, get out of here. 
Wait, can I just jump attack to break his guard? I can just jump attack to break his guard. Boy, how weak can you be? Oh, whoops. Get out of here. I, I, did, I thought we had to do a better attack to break his guard, but I guess not. We're getting a net gain of hearts here. Now see, these doors aren't taking us anywhere. Because this door, we've already been out here because this is where the uh, one chest was in the switch. So see, we don't get anything from being here. And the other door just takes us right back outside, so I'm... I don't know, man. There's just no reason for this to exist, and there's no chests you get out of it? Huh. I feel like that's the first time there's been a truly optional room in any dungeon. Or you didn't have to go there at all for anything. I don't know, man. I guess it really was just choosing your path. Anyway, let's finally move forward and see what we have in store. So, this looks interesting. Have we been in this room before? For some reason, I'm, I feel like we've been in this room before. Yeah! We've been here before, haven't we? Also, I didn't even know the rats were here, but hey, we have... That's a little more than creepy. Are some of these places fake? Like some of these squares? Yes, they are! So these soldiers are showing you the way forward. Okay, well I figured that one out pretty easily. But I... I... Was this room near the beginning of the game? I've seen this room before! If it wasn't anywhere near the beginning of the game, then I must have seen this in, like, an, a trailer for the game or something. Because I remember this room. And I feel like it would have been a huge problem if I hadn't seen it before. Huh. Well, lucky me, I suppose. Now we're good. Uh, there's no chests in this room, so we can just move forward. Help. Help. Because I don't remember going through that room near the beginning of the game when we were going to Zelda, but I remember it. You know what? Uh, when this game came out on GameCube, I once watched my friend play it. I had no idea what portion of the game it was, uh, and it was only for like a good five minutes. I think that might have been the room he was playing. He was like a year older than me, and this, like, remember, this was like when I was in third grade or something when this game came out, like, what, 2002 or something? Um, yeah, I don't know, I just have very vivid memories of that room. Huh, that's weird. Also, everything just turned blue. Oh, it's the thunder. Anyway, I guess I'm going to end it off there. I'm not sure how much I'm cutting out of this episode, so this one might be a little short, but, uh, we'll deal. Anyway, see you all in the next episode when we once again go on a little deeper into the dungeon. See you all then, and goodbye.